what happened anyway? Last time I saw you, you were happily sucking your face. I was too upset to even be affected by his statement. Um, I saw the count. Wait, you actually saw him? Yeah, and then he ran away. Not that I blame him, but... But how that idiot he turned around to leave and then hesitated and turned back to me. Just, just stay here, okay? Don't move, not for anything, not even food. After saying that, he turned on his heel and left the balcony. I guess comfort eating is out of the question then. Minutes passed and I started to contemplate returning to my room. I should have after making up my mind. What am I even waiting for anyway? I was just about to leave when the count burst out onto the balcony. He closed the doors behind him before turning to face me. He was out of breath and looked frazzled compared to his usual self. What? Before I could say another word, I was engulfed in his embrace. Sorry, I, sorry, I, could, I couldn't get away sooner. I pushed against his chest and put some space in between us. Frustrated his words. What do you mean by that? You look right at me before turning your back. It's not what you think, I I'll explain later, but first, first, there's something more important that I need to say. I looked at the serious expression on his face and nodded silently. Okay, well, here goes. He took a deep breath before continuing. I haven't been able to stop thinking about the last time and I know you said no, but I, I think, wait, no, that's not right. What I want to say is, he gently took both my hands in his. I don't want to give up on you. No matter who you are, what you do, none of it matters, as long as you love me back. You say that, but you don't know. I know enough. I know that you're a food connoisseur, loyal, determined, funky, have a surprising love of food, have a sweet tooth to rival my own, not impressed by my money or job or my jokes. You treat me like a person. You're the only woman to ever look past the mask I'm always hiding behind. He gave my hands a gentle squeeze. And did I forget to mention that you're the cutest girl I ever met? I'll gladly spend the rest of my life finding out more about you. I couldn't stop myself from bursting into tears at his feet. What? I, I ruined it? Didn't I? Please, please don't cry. I didn't. I, I just. I just pretend I never said any. I threw my arms around his neck and pulled him close. No, I don't want to pretend. I don't want to give up on you either. Not if it means feeling like I've lost out on something important. I... I... I do love you. Really? You mean it? Truly picked me up and swung me around happily before setting me down. This means I can kiss you, right? I want my tears and look up at him. Hmm, I don't know. Can you? If I don't hear a no, I'm going to take it as a yes. I just smiled and he took it as his cue to cover my lips with his own. We pull apart the sound of a balcony door slamming open. The counts I flick over the door where Eric's head butler could be seen and he let out an annoyed sound. Your timing is horrid, Joshua. Uh... I apologize for the interruption, but it's time for your speech, Master Valdemar. Did he just call you Master Valdemar? He closed his eyes and took a deep breath before looking at me with a regretful expression. This isn't how I wanted you to find out. I, uh... Master Valdemar, your guests are waiting. I just need to. You kept them waiting long enough, sir. You're right, Joshua. The Count? Eric lifted a hand to caress my cheek. I will talk about this later. Alright? Alright. He gave me one last longing look before leaving the room. I took a moment to get at myself before leaving the balcony and heading back into the bar room. As I left, I noticed Mr. Bantages standing beside the door with a smear on his face. You knew? I know a lot of things. You're going to have to be more specific. About Eric? I take it he told you then. No, his father did. Oh well, tough break Eric. Although, in my defense, I did try to stop Joshua, but no one can stop that guy when he's on a mission. Did you know from the start of the game? Hmm, I like to say yes, but I didn't. He dropped enough clues for me to figure out though. Now, come on, if Joshua took him, then he's going to announce the winner soon. And I'm not missing that. 